Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're going to talk about how to subtract mixed number fractions. So the problem here is 10 and 11 twelfths minus eight and one half. And there's a couple different approaches you could take uh, to do this problem. Of course, we don't want to use our calculators. So put those calculators away. And if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. And then we'll talk about two different approaches you could take to solve this problem. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer here. So 10 and 11 twelfths minus eight and one half. What is the correct answer? Well, the correct answer is two and five twelfths. So notice that uh, the answer itself is a mixed number. Of course, you could write this as an improper fraction. Uh, just a quick review. So if you have a fraction like, let's say, one third, uh, let's say four thirds, and then of course, something maybe like five and one half. In mathematics, a fraction like this is called a proper fraction because the denominator is larger than the numerator, okay? Now here, the numerator is larger than the denominator, so we would call this type of fraction an improper fraction, okay? So that's what this is called. And then of course, this type of fraction is called a mixed number fraction. And you can convert improper fractions into mixed numbers and mixed numbers into improper fractions. That is a separate discussion. But uh, anyways, uh, we want to make sure we understand these proper terms in mathematics. But if you got this correct, that is fantastic. Matter of fact, let's give you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100%. And a few stars, you can tell your friends and family that you know exactly how to subtract mixed number fractions. They'll be very impressed with that information for sure. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the problem. And basically, I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of uh, categorize the way you can approach this problem as you have basically two options. You can do the harder way or you can do the easy way. Now, some of you might uh, see this hard way. You'll be like, no, no, I like doing it that way and I got the right answer. If that is the case, that's perfectly fine. But in my opinion... Uh, this uh, this approach will be easier, and then of course this approach involves a little bit more number crunching. But either way, as long as you understand both techniques, that's what's important. Okay, and it is important to understand both approaches to doing this problem. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. So what I would say is the hard way, okay, to approach this problem is to turn these uh, mixed number fractions into improper fractions. Okay, in other words, here we have 10 and 11 twelfths. So if I wanted to write this, again, uh, this mixed number into an improper fraction, I would go 12 times 10. That's not too bad, right? So 12 times 10, that's um, 120. Uh, then you're gonna take that 120 and add 11 to it. So you're gonna have 131 over 12. So now you know, it's a little bit extra work. Uh, these numbers, uh, this 10 here obviously makes this multiplication pretty easy. But then we got to do the same thing here. So we have 2 times 8, that's 16 plus 1. So this would be 17 halves. So this is what I would say is a little bit of the harder way. Now, in this particular problem, we don't have common denominators. So we would have to find the LCD. Hopefully, you recognize that the LCD here is 12. So to fix this up, we would just simply have to multiply this by six and then 17 by six. So we'd have to do some multiplication here and then we would have to track uh, uh, the difference, right? So this is one approach to doing uh, this problem, okay? Now, another approach, all right, is um, what I'm gonna classify as the easy way. Now, if you did the problem this way, that's perfectly fine. And you do need to understand how to do, um, how to write mixed number fractions into improper fractions and do a problem like this, right? But let's see another way we can handle this problem because we are dealing with mixed numbers, right? So when you have a mixed number fraction, we need to kind of conceptualize each one of these numbers, okay? So 10 and 11 twelfths, let's just talk about what a mixed number means. Well, this means 10 plus 11 twelfths. So we can really think of it 
as 10 plus 11 twelfths. That's what this value is right here, 10 plus 11 twelfths. Now we're taking away, we're gonna subtract away eight and one half. So we gotta subtract an eight away, and then we also gotta subtract a one half away. So in total, we wanna subtract eight and one half. So if you look at the problem this way, okay, you can kind of shuffle these numbers around and make this problem much easier, okay? So again, well, let me kind of go back up here. So we're gonna think of uh, 10 and 11 twelfths as 10 plus 11 twelfths, and we're gonna take away eight and another one half, which so are a total of eight and one half. So when we do this, let's just go ahead and uh, grab these easy numbers, 10 and minus eight, right? So 10 uh, take away eight, uh, or 10 minus eight is right here. Of course, we know that that's gonna be two, uh, so we can kind of basically add up all these numbers, but when it comes to adding numbers, uh, the order isn't important, okay? Like one plus uh, three plus four is the same thing as one plus four plus three, okay? But then what we can do, uh, we could take care of these two right here, right? Get the answer. Of course, we know it's going to be two. And then what we really have to just concentrate on is 11 minus one half. So dealing with this fraction right here, uh, or this uh, subtraction problem, is much easier uh, than to deal with this uh, fraction problem here. Again, we don't have a calculator. You know, we don't want to use a calculator. So now let's go ahead and finish this problem up. All right, so again, 10 minus 8 will be 2, and 11 twelfths minus 1 half. Uh, of course, we don't have common denominators. The common denominator, or the lowest common denominator, is 12. So all we have to do is multiply this denominator by 2 to get a 12. I'm sorry, a 6 to get a 12. So 6 times 2 is 12. And then uh, when we multiply the denominator by 6, we've got to multiply the numerator by 6 as well. So now we have 11 twelfths minus 6 twelfths. Okay. And of course, 6 twelfths is the same thing as 1 half. And now we can simply subtract the numerators, right? So we're talking about basic subtraction of fractions. So we keep that same denominator, 12, and we subtract the numerators. 11 minus 6 is 5, so this will be our answer here. So this part is 5 twelfths, and we already answered what uh, 10 minus 8 is. That's 2. So this is 2 and 5 twelfths, or we could write it just like this, 2 and 5 twelfths. Now, uh, some of you might be saying, well, that was like a lot of explanation. That's like a lot of, that's like a lot of work. You actually did the hard way. The other way was easier. Well, um, it seems, it might seem a little bit harder because I'm explaining it. You know, I'm kind of explaining the process here. But the main idea is you got to realize that these mixed numbers, you could break them up into two separate like numbers. 10 and 11 twelfths is the same thing as 10 plus 11 twelfths. Okay. And that way you can handle these big uh, whole number parts, these big integer parts, take that out of the equation, right? Just do the math there and deal with simpler fractions. This is a um, you know, more user-friendly approach, especially when you don't have a calculator, because here you're going to have to do some side multiplication, 17 times 6, and then you have to do some subtraction. And uh, uh, fortunately, in this particular problem, it's easy to find the LCD. It's simply 12. So here, I just have to multiply by 6. But well, let's say I had to multiply both of these fractions to uh, get an L, uh, the lowest common denominator, then I'm multiplying by 131, et cetera, et cetera. So anyways, um, if you need additional help with fractions or arithmetic or basic mathematics, let me give you a couple suggestions. One, I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel on uh, fractions and basic mathematics. But if you're looking for a more kind of formal way to build up your uh, basic math skills, check out my math foundations course of course, you can find that at tcmathacademy.com. It is a great little, um, it's actually a very popular course. Uh, it's a small, uh, it's only three chapters, and I go over all the basics, all the stuff that we, you know, uh, kind of forgot because we're, you know, the further away we get from elementary and middle school, we you know we forget this stuff. We're talking about decimals, place values, basic operations, fractions, percent, all that kind of stuff. So if you're looking to kind of review basic mathematics, that's an excellent little mini course. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.